Yep, the Roman Empire's back. All right, so the battle with Ethiopia has started. They don't really have that many troops on the front lines, so Ethiopia might get some territory for a little bit, but let's be honest, they're not gonna win. I can already tell this is going to be a very strange World War II because Germany is definitely a lot weaker than what they normally are. They don't even, they're not gonna be able to get Austria or any of these territories that they normally get. So far, it looks like the Italians are still in incredibly incompetent despite the fact that they are so much more powerful now. I cannot believe it, but Ethiopia is doing pretty good right now. They kind of left this entire front unattended. All right, there you go. They are producing a lot of military factories, but they're currently down a lot of guns. That's 46,000 guns right there. I am so confused right now. Japan just declared war on Finland and Germany. Germany also declared war on Chile and Japan. All right. I have no idea why this is happening, but okay, Germany. Oh yeah, and the United States is now involved. Well, they're already invading the Philippines. Yeah, their industry is pretty weak. All right, so the Roman Empire has now joined the Axis. Already got some things happening. So the Romans have just now invaded into Finland and the, the Finns should be finished pretty quickly now. India has been a complete mess this game. So now we have Roman Finland and the Roman Empire. Oh geez, this border gore is gross. The United States has called Mexico. All right, so Mexico is now involved. The Romans are kind of struggling here in South, in whatever this is. Are you, what is going on? All right, what just happened? All right, so Sweden is now involved in the war. They now have been called. Okay, that should be quick. And somehow Sweden is gaining territory. They're just slowly pushing through here in Poland. That being said, I still find it bizarre that Sweden has all this territory. Although it looks like they're not going to hold on to that for much longer. All right, there's the peace deal. And that's some... Um, eh, it's okay, border gore. It's not that bad. And they are starting to push a little bit here in the Mexico front. We have a little pocket here in Sweden. Looks like Stockholm has already collapsed. Here's the casualties at the moment. 509,000 for the Axis. 265,000 for the Japanese faction. And the US has lost 1.15 million. Oh, look at this. Hawaii is now under Japanese control. That is the first time I've ever seen that happen. Are all these troops trapped? I don't think any of them have any supply. Germany is now doing the war with the USSR focus. Oh, really? The Soviet Union declared war first. So far, they're doing pretty good. Yeah, the Germans are just going. They're not having any issues at all against the Soviets. They have also taken St. Petersburg. Oh, this looks like a really nice encirclement opportunity here. Oh, there you go. That is a pretty nice encirclement, I believe. So they have already taken Moscow and they're pushing towards Stalingrad. Message from Japan. Declare war. So Japan decided to declare war on us. So Japan declared war on Germany. So I guess the Romans are going to take out Japan now. Japan is also at war with the Soviets, but they're not doing too good right now. They still have the capital of Estonia right now over here in Tallinn. Oh boy, let's see. This border gore is... I'm not really sure why these countries are here. Montenegro and uh, Albania, but okay. The Mongols completely collapsed. Japan is falling hard and falling fast. They, they are just going to let the Germans and the Romans walk straight into Korea without any resistance. Seems like all their divisions are either on the home islands or over here in China still. Sweden still has their little island. 